What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment and in this video we are going to be going over where your monitors are located and where to find your information in your John Deere 7R tractors. Now these are going to be a little different than what we're used to if you are used to a smaller tractor, say down into the 5 series, 4, 3, 2s, 1s. If you have only been in compact utility tractors and you are moving up into the large farming game, this is going to be a whole lot different. So we want to make sure that we know where we're going to look for our information. Now, Generally on those smaller tractors, where you're going to look for information would be on the dash. So for instance, on these machines, if we look up onto the dash, there is nothing there. You simply have your steering column here with your steering wheel. Now where we're going to go to look for that information we would normally find on the dash is going to be in the corner post right up here. So as we can see here, we've got the tractor on. This is going to show us like what we would see normally on our dash of our machine. There's gonna be our RPMs. Then we're gonna have our speedometer right below that. Now with the tractor on here right now, we only have a few things showing on the bottom portion. It's gonna show us what gear we're in. It's gonna show us what setting our transmission is on. Then it's also going to show us such things as our coolant temperature level, our fuel level, and our depth level. But this is also where we're going to go to get all of those different warning signs and labels. So if I turn the key switch off here and I were to turn it back on, these are gonna flash up for just a second here. So this is where all those different warning signs are gonna come up, such things as if you have certain lights on or you have certain warnings on, those are where you're going to look to see that information just as you would on the dash of your smaller tractor or on your vehicle. So the corner post is going to be your main area for information, but you're also going to have another screen that's going to be right here on the armrest. This is going to be your screen that you're going to use for all of your different settings. As we can see, we have such things here as for our rear hitch. We're gonna have our SCVs, other different machine settings, and this is completely customizable so that you can set this up however you need to. We're gonna have a menu button here that we're able to go into to be able to change different settings on this, go into the different applications of this screen. All of your settings on this machine and the, the deep dive information that we need for the certain implements on the machine, such as the rear hitch and the SCVs are going to come from the screen or, or the monitor here that is actually on our armrest. So this may be foreign territory for you, but this is not a big deal. It's just a little bit different of shifting our focus from right here in the middle over to the right a little bit. And it is very convenient. It's out of the way of your view. So you have plenty of room still to see all the way around the cab. But if you are looking for that information and needing to know where to go to change those different settings, this is where we're looking corner post and our armrest screen. Now, you may also in these machines at times, depending on the application, be able to add other monitors in this machine. So if we look right down below our corner post here, we're going to see a few different plugs here, just like that. Those are going to be for a third monitor. So say we're doing such applications, maybe as spraying, we're planting and we need a third monitor in this machine. That is the area where you can go to add that in for those applications. So I hope this helped you out, guys. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, if you are looking for more information like this or other videos just on John Deere equipment in general, make sure to go check out the rest of the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey, guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.